everybody hope you're all doing good today having a good christmas eve i uh, just wanted to take a few minutes today and give you today's tip uh, based on some stuff i've been doing a lot fishing here uh, locally in missouri um, you know it's cold what cold weather it's winter time fishing i've been doing a lot of jerk bait fishing but i've also been backing it up a lot with small swim baits um, some of the days that you have out there that you don't have much wind um, you know it's bright sunny out there you know you can catch them on jerk bait a little bit this time of year but the small swim bait um, works pretty good and the one that i want to talk about today is the one that i've been using uh, the last few weeks is the mega bass three inch spark shad and i want to give you all some a few tips on it because there's some things that you can do to it to make it a lot more effective get a lot more bites on it so i'm going to sort of show you my modification that i do with it and you know i love modifying baits i do a lot of modifications makes for good tips but anyway here is the uh mega bass three inch spark shad with the mega bass okashira jig head uh, this is an eighth ounce head this is the one i've been using it's a great head because it's got a nice keeper on it it keeps the baits up there and um, here's how most people rig the thing like that which is fine it catches fish but i want to show you some modifications that i do to it that actually even allow me to get some more bites so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the uh, three inch spark shad like this and i cut it off right back behind the eyes right off the bat like that now, the reason I like this is I'm going to show you. It helps the bait set better on against the head. I think it looks a little bit more natural. And on top of that, you can see on the spark shad, they've got like some, uh, it's pretty flat, some sharp edges. Not sharp edge, but it's got a defined edge. I take a pair of scissors and take a look at that the way that looks. And I cut the sides down on this thing a little bit. Sort of round them out a little bit. And then cut those off. I'm just taking that, that edge off of there, like that. So it's, it looks more like that. And then what I do um, is I'll show you, got one final thing. I'm gonna rig it up here. And there's one last modification on it. It's really important when you put these swim baits on to come to take the time to get them on straight because if you don't get them on perfectly straight, they don't run right. So make sure that hook is like perfectly centered in the top of the bait. But you can see there, see a little bit on top of that, you've got some plastic on the, the head of it there. I'll take my scissors and I'm, I'll trim out again to make that flush against there. So it's a lot more flush. So basically, here's the two differences that I've got. Here, here we've got the modified spark shad. No eyes on there. See how it's a little bit more diminutive, smaller. And here's the regular one. You can see a little bit bigger on there. So anyway, that's my two setups in there. Just downsizing like this and modifying will get you a lot more bites under the tough conditions, especially if it's sunny, not much wind, bright, clear water. So anyway, that's the tip for today. Hope you guys have a good Christmas, and we'll talk to you soon. See you.